fighting for his family's reputation. A Massachusetts father is going after Netflix for the true crime documentary on the college admission scandal. He says most of his convictions were overturned, but says he's now convicted in the public eye. Thank you for joining us. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Operation Varsity Blues captivated the country. WBZ's Brandon Truitt is live tonight with the details of a new lawsuit filed by this Cape Cod father. Brandon? Well, Lisa and David, John Wilson spent $10 million in legal fees during his criminal trial. He never took a plea deal, and he was exonerated of his major charges last year. But he says what Netflix ultimately aired and accused him of, even the feds didn't link him to. They called their production a documentary, which I always assume means it's truthful. And what they did as it relates to me and my family was anything but the truth. We met John Wilson in his home on Cape Cod. It's the first time we've spoken with the man whose face was seen around the world entering the Boston Federal Courthouse in 2019. What was that feeling walking in there knowing that things weren't right? It's been a devastating experience from day one. The moment I was arrested was horrific. Uh, and then having to go to trial for a crime I didn't commit. Wilson has long maintained his innocence. In 2023, an appeals court dismissed all of the major convictions against him, but a Netflix documentary released two years prior about the college admission scandal is at the center of a lawsuit Wilson filed this week. In the suit, Wilson alleges the media giant defamed him by depicting his family game the system, by paying for higher test scores and creating fake student athletes to gain acceptance. Things court records show the U.S. Attorney's Office never charged him with in the first place. Your lawsuit says they knowingly did it. They did because we warned them in advance of all the facts that were in the public record about my son. Wilson says he sent these photos and other documents to Netflix before its release, showing, he says, his son's storied career as a swimmer with thousands of hours of training and a former world record. However, Wilson says Netflix falsely depicted his son taking stage photos, something prosecutors alleged other families had done to get on a team's roster to gain admission. He wants monetary compensation for him and his children, an apology from Netflix, and for them to correct the film. I think more than anything, it's also important to set the record straight for others because what they did to me should never happen to anyone in America. It's just outrageous. We reached out to Netflix for this report, but we have not heard back. Wilson says he knows these cases, these defamation cases, are hard to prove in Massachusetts, but says this is really about clearing his family's name and legacy. Live in Boston, Brandon True at WBZ News. Yeah, he is committed to this. Brandon, thank you.